morning coffee with Paul. The sun is coming up a little hazy, but that's okay. Well, I want to talk to you uh, about doubting yourself. When you have aphasia, the first thing that creeps in is self-doubt. What are you going to do now? I promise you, in the aphasia world, it plays all the time because when this happens to you, you can't communicate. You can't stress your feelings about what you're going through. You're scared and it seeks havoc in your mind and the doubts begin to creep in over and over and over again. And it can be destructive. What are my friends going to think? Relatives. How are they going to respond? What is going to happen to my job, my finances? Doubt, 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 doubt. really press you down so much that sometimes it is hard to see the way out. I have experienced it all myself as positive as a person as I am, optimistic, self-disciplined, I didn't know. Self-doubt can destroy a person. So I wanted uh, to say something with uh, all my friends with aphasia. Man, hang on. Uh, hang on. You can do this. It just takes work and more work, but you, uh, you've got this. And so I was thinking about a lot of things last night and um, one thing don't ever give up because it's easy it's easy and um, because the road forward is so uh, hard and you've got to do things that other people don't think about doing. Just saying a sentence is a lot. I can tell you that there are 
there are times when I want to say something so bad and I know what I want to say but the words just don't come out. It's still that way. So in closing, I have developed a really close relationship with a young person who has aphasia. Their mom and dad reached out to me because of morning coffee and asked if I could record a special note of encouragement for their daughter. glad to do that. I know how difficult it is and the doubt creeps in and you don't have any hope but hang on. Your friends that have left they don't know what to do about aphasia. They don't know how to communicate, so it's easier to walk away. But that's no reason for you to quit trying. So special and you mean so much to so many people and you just can't stop trying and believing and having faith. So this morning coffee was for you. You're amazing. So I have a special request from you. Please like and share this morning coffee with your audience and be sure and send some words of encouragement to my friend who is struggling. You can make a difference today. Just maybe a minute of your time. So my friend, you got this. Hang on. We're going to do this together. I got your back. Have a nice day.